Okay, so I'd just like to do an update on our Monarch Butterfly Caterpillars that we uh, collected a little over a week ago. So it's been about a week since we did a video and um, I just wanted to update on how they are all going. So um, we've been collecting more milkweed as we need to feed them and as we collect the milkweed we just happen to find more eggs and more caterpillars as we go so we've got quite a few so I'll start at the um, at the smallest so here we have our baby eggs that we found on all the milkweed that's what we've got um, in this container we have our tiny newly hatchlings and um, the system that I've come up with is I just put dots on the top of uh, the container that they're in just to tell me how many are in the container so when I'm cleaning out their containers and uh, changing the leaves out I know how many caterpillars are in there and if any are lost or still in the leaves so here are the little baby ones they're so tiny they're very hard to to see. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Tiny. Trying to zoom in. Tiny little grey. They look grey with a little black head when they first hatch. And um, it doesn't take them long to get to the big ones, but um, it takes about two weeks for them to get from this stage until the, the fully grown caterpillar stage. So that's our babies. Then we have these little guys who are about two, three days old, I think, and they hatched out of some eggs that we had as well. You can see them a bit better. Okay, and we've got seven in there. You probably can't see them all. They hide in the little flowers and underneath the leaves. So <clears throat> that's those ones. Next, we have the ones. A little bit older again. We also hatched these ones out of the eggs. You can see they're quite a lot bigger. I think we've got six or seven in this container as well. And the reason why I keep them separate, um, the little guys separate from the others, is because you know they could if there's a bigger caterpillar in there, they can the little ones can get trampled or accidentally eaten. They're not. Um, cannibalistic but they can accidentally get eaten by the bigger ones so that's those ones now these guys these are the first eggs that we hatched and there's five in here these guys are getting really big they're nearly ready to join the others actually but they're I'll just change their leaves out so they just had a bit to nibble and now they're in the rest and our biggest guys are these ones. And these are the ones, the caterpillars that we actually found on the plants. Um, they were tiny when we found them. But um, now they're, they're nearly fully grown actually, this guy. If you can see how big he is. He's quite big. And... Um, they don't bite. You can t pick them up and hold them. Um, they don't sting you. They don't bite. They're really quite soft like velvet. Um, but they can get hurt easily. So if you've got kids, you know, just let them hold them. But, you know, supervise and, and make sure that they don't hurt the little caterpillars. And another pet. I'm so cute. So I've just got these guys out because I cleaned out their little container. So I'm just going to put their fresh milkweed in there. I just picked a stalk. And before I put the stalk in there, I just checked over every leaf to make sure there was no more babies or eggs on there. So let's see. I'll put this one in first. Big guy. Is that big? He's probably not far off turning into a chrysalis, actually. I'd say he's probably 10 centimetres or so. Okay. 
real quick. Down that. Oh. Yeah, we've got four in this one, so. So there's the other two. Put them in there. Now they'll find those new leaves and start munching away. And um, they, the big ones, they eat a lot. I have to change these leaves or give them new leaves twice a day because they will eat that all in half a day. So they eat a lot and they poop a lot. So if you have them, you need to make sure you just clean out the little container every day, get rid of all their poop and give them fresh leaves. It just makes it a nice cleaner environment for them. And hopefully soon they will start to um, climb and they will crawl up the sides of the tank and they'll attach themselves to the top in a J shape. Uh, so they hang upside down in the shape of a J and they stay there for about 24 hours and that's when they change into their chrysalis. And um, I actually have one at the moment. This is one of our common crow caterpillars. He's hanging there, if you can see him. He's hanging in a J shape at the moment. He is nearly ready to change. He's starting to twitch a little bit and um, his antennae are shriveling, which means that he's getting ready to change. And um, if you're lucky, I might be able to get a video of that later on. But um, they they hang like that for about 24 hours, and um, yeah, it's, they just hang there still. And um, yeah, it's pretty amazing when they do change. So yeah, that's our update on our monarch caterpillars and hopefully our next video I'll be able to show you some of the monarch chrysalis um, and hopefully they will have a few of them will have made their chrysalis by by next week so fingers crossed and um, we'll see how they go these little guys are munching away very cute okay so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time